Yo, let's chat. Hey guys, welcome to my office slash bedroom slash music room slash SC room. We are <laughs> going to go through some pretty cool um, SC review. This is the la the latest video that I uploaded. It's the talk with Bethany where I let her role play as the actual SC uh, ask her question person. And then I handle a topic which was I think men are better than women. Don't really think that. I dare you to use that against me in the future. Let's go. <laughs> I can't wait until that happens one day. It'll be like, hey, Tyrone, we, to we totally got you. I'm like, uh, no, don't you realize this is a fake video? Anyway, um, this is the setup that I have for my um, um, budget stream deck. I got this shot right here where I'm in the bottom corner. Hey, oh, I'm so tiny. Check that out. And then I got myself up here. Then there's two additional shots. If I think I'm saying something important, I'm going to be like zoomed in like this. Or it's just you and me we're just looking at each other but then if i zoom out a little bit check that out look at that you know it's like the same shot but you're not it's not as serious serious not so serious and of course got this webcam sort of thing it's all laggy but hey it's a second shot so anyway still getting this set up let me know what you guys think uh we will just continue to work anyway on this anyway uh, let's go through the actual conversation. There's some cool things that happen, and um, I just want to go over it. Anyway, this is a friend of mine named Bethany. We met at, uh, each other at Sunday Assembly in Nashville. And that's her son, Caden. Really cool kid. He, I love how kids know how to do fist bumps. And look at that power fist bump. That's an awesome kid. Okay. I want to go to a burrito place before. I found yeah. the best way to do it mm -hmm. is um, there's the thing that I believe, mm -hmm. right? What I call the conclusion, and then there's me. Mm -hmm. Right. Don't ask questions about me. Don't mm -hmm. ask questions about the conclusion. Ask about how I arrived at the conclusion. That so that's that is basically my philosophy of how I do SE. I have three different things that I can ask questions about, and it could be uh, targeted at the person who's holding the belief. It could be targeting at the belief itself, that conclusion that they've reached, or it could target that method that they use to reach their conclusion. And it just tends to be the case that there's a lot less ego invested in the methodology than there is in the person and the conclusion. And you know that when people say like, oh, I'm an atheist, or I'm a Christian, or anything like that, they so closely identified with their conclusion that if you try to ask a question about the conclusion, it's as if you're targeting them personally, and they'll react as if you targeted them personally. And they get really defensive, and they don't open themselves up to actually having a thoughtful conversation about their beliefs or even how they came to the beliefs. So target that methodology. How did you arrive at that conclusion? Is that method reliable? What if other people used that rely, uh, method and got to different conclusions? Would you be more inclined to believe that? These are all great questions in SE, and I think they're the ones that we should be asking. Anyway, let's continue on. Right, that connects it to mm -hmm. is what I call the methodology. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're asking questions about the method that someone used to reach a conclusion, mm -hmm. you don't get defensive. Because oh, I'm saying the same thing. Look at me. I'm wasting everyone's time here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. And you're talking about the methodology, you can ask about whatever you want. Cool. Yeah. You want to try that? <laughs> Someday. You can do it. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Try you can do it. Please do it. I'm begging you. With, uh, a really, really non-religious belief. You want to do a non-religious one? Okay, cool. Okay, so that's a that's a really interesting point. You can do. I would recommend if you're starting out SE, try to do it on things that aren't religious in nature. Uh, Marvel movies or uh, just like favorite sports teams, video games, anything that you particularly are interested in talking about. Even if it's a conversation that's already started and you remembered, hey, I remember this guy telling me I could do conversations in SC without even having to talk about religion. If you wake up in that lucid moment mid-conversation, try it out. Try asking someone how they f what they believe, how confidently they believe it, and how they arrived at that belief. And you don't even really need to challenge it. Just get used to being in that thoughtful mindset where you're asking questions about the methodology. It's totally a great way to start. Totally a great way to start. Um, Look how thoughtful I'm being. Oh, he's dropping the bombs. And look at her. She's writing it down. I didn't even know that. Look at that. She's writing it down. <laughs> she's taking notes. Cool. 
did you arrive to the conclusion that men are better than women? That's a great way to start. How did you arrive at the conclusion that men are better than women? It's a good way to start. And yeah, I like that. I like that as a more natural way than asking someone how confident they believe they are, because that's always such a weird thing. Confidence scales and throwing numbers at stuff. I think just, hey, how did you figure that out? That's a great way to start a conversation. A job that I'm at, hmm. all my bosses are men. That's not true. Look at, like, <laughs> Olympics and sports and stuff. The strongest people are men. Hmm. The sports <laughs> are that's potentially the true. <laughs> There are strong women, women in the Olympics, though. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not discounting a lot of it. And these. That's a really good approach. It's a little towards, it's, it's, uh, how do I put it? It is exactly what you would want to get to in the conversation. Like if someone says, I believe, you know, uh, this thing because of X, what you try to do is look at that X and see, Hey, if I didn't have that X, would that change your mind at all? And if I said, no, that wouldn't change my mind at all. That's not what I'm resting all my confidence on. And X isn't useful at all. I'm just saying X, but I have no confidence in it whatsoever because I'd still come to that belief even without X. So she's doing a great job in just saying, hey, do you really believe this because of that thing that you just said? And if I said no, move on to the next thing. That's great. Saves you time from having to ask questions about a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter to either of us. So yeah, she's doing great. Uh, superior? Like Look at that finger, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking right now. That's a really good pensive place to be. Hmm. Oh, okay, here we go. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> You're saying if you found a girl who can kick as far as a guy can? Yeah, like, what if, what if I could find somebody who could kick even better? Who could throw a football better than Tom Brady? Tom Brady? <laughs> you mean NFL Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> It's always gonna have to be time. Like that, then yeah, I changed my mind a little bit on that. Uh, sure. You say your confidence level on men being better. I'm a hundred percent. Hundred percent. And it's always good to just get an idea of how confidence, how confident someone is. When you say confidence level, that won't mean a lot to people who don't are who aren't very useful with street epistemology conversations. So I would probably try be, being more like, um, how sure are you about this? Do you do you think there's any chance for you to be wrong? Or maybe that's probably even a bad way. I don't like saying wrong in a conversation like that. I would just basically say, um, get an idea of, is there any window of doubt in that person's mind? So I'm like, are you absolutely sure that that's the case? And if they say yes, I mean like, oh, absolutely. As in like, there's no way that this is wrong whatsoever. This is like, lean into it. Like, oh, so you're absolutely closed minded on this idea. You're like 100% confidently sure there's no way like if you lean into the 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 absolute nature of how confident someone is about any kind of claim they will naturally do one of two things one uh be made aware that they might be being a little bit closed minded and be like well i'm not i'm not i wouldn't say closed minded i'm definitely open minded to being wrong about some stuff it's like okay cool now they're not absolute. That's like the bulk of what this work is all about. Trying to get people to not be absolute in their beliefs or any belief, really. Uh, at least just be open to the idea that, hey, I could be wrong about almost anything. Um, but if they do reinforce that, hey, man, I'm super duper confident. <laughs> I'm super duper confident, man. Uh, and nothing's going to change my mind. That gives you the perfect target to start asking questions about. So they'll either give you the perfect target or they'll at least admit, hey, um, I'm not as confident as you know you might suspect me to be, but we can still have this kind of conversation. And that just gives you a good groundwork to start from. 100%, no way I could be wrong. No way. No way. <laughs> See, she's doing it right now. <laughs> so where did you go? She would have to be really good. You say if you show me someone who can win, I forgot how many titles he won. 
a lot. Like all the, like all the NFL rings. Yeah. Mm. And got all the sports trophies. He got all the sports trophies. He got the sports ball trophy. He got that sports ball trophy. Oh, yeah. I know so much about sports. It's great. If you show me a girl that could do that, I'd be like, okay. okay. Maybe on just that one thing, Maybe but one. none of my bosses are still women, so I'd be like, mm. yeah, what but if, there's still a man signing a paycheck at the end what, of the day. Oh, example, oh, why are you going for the like, gut? Like, Did her she's husband amazing. die and she gave him the <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> and this character is great. Okay. So she, you know, she rose to the ranks and, you know, she used to be an attorney, but you know, she's been part of this credit union and she's hmm. moved up from that lawyer at legal position to CEO. Okay. I'm not saying women can't do that. I do like this, though. Uh, Bethany isn't just asking me questions. She's actually injecting a little bit more of herself and and throwing some personal stories into this as well. Um, I so it there are definitely styles of SC where it's just question 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 philosophy 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 I get bored with that and I do like to have a back and forth with someone where I'm throwing out some stuff and then throwing out some stuff to me as well and I feel like that makes it more of a conversation than a uh, interview like this isn't like um, an interrogation right um, both of us should be freely able to like introduce some things about their lives and I think that's cool I think think the way that she's done it um, the fact that it directly how do I put it uh, challenges my notion that you know like there's no such thing as a female CEO you know like this character's that impression that there's no such thing as a female CEO runs the risk slightly of challenging that conclusion that I have and that could make me a little bit more defensive in this conversation so there is that you, to be, you have to be aware that as you, in efforts to make the conversation more conversational, run the risk of making your SE partner more defensive. And that's something, but in the same way, uh, only being robotic with the questions that you're asking and strictly only asking questions also runs the risk of not making that emotional level connection to have that person feel comfortable in a conversation to where they even want to be open. It's a strange balance, but it's one of those things that gets better over time. And I feel like the more comfortable you are, the more comfortable the person that you're talking to is. So do what feels good to you. That's the basic point of it. If you like asking questions, <laughs> ask questions. If you like being intense, be intense. If you like being conversational, be conversational. But do you. And I think that's the best way to actually get better at this. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, but I'm just saying men do it more. Like, there's obviously more men bosses, right? Hmm. Well. There's more men in charge. Like, you look at the presidents. Like, more men are in charge. You look, you look at the look presidents. Like, <laughs> that's bad. Like, like that. Does it necessarily mean, like, for example, like, if just because there were more men in charge, does that mean that they're more competent or they have better abilities and say, a woman because the, uh, the abundance of women bosses or men in holding positions at like major companies and stuff does that mean that they're more does that lend credence to the fact that they're better than women hmm she's basically asking how are you defining better without saying it so clinically right like if I am in fact saying men are better than women on what criteria am I basing that off of and is it in fact based on capability or like how much money they're making or how strong they're making like it's a really natural way of asking me how, what do you mean by better and if you can more strictly define that then we have a better grounds for at least showing like oh well here are some cases where that may not always be the case where it benefits men or supports the idea that only men are better um, with a more concrete definition of what someone explains to be the case uh, you have more material to work with in order to figure out if that is in fact something that you should have absolute confidence over and many times we have these kinds of conversations where we are dealing with something as ambiguous as a god but we fail to get an accurate definition of what the god is or what attributes that god has it's just like and it's so important to just nail that out as early as possible in the conversation. That way you don't have to deal with it later on because you might notice they'll be shifting a goalposts as people jump to like the next vague 
impression that they had with an ill-defined concept. I think she's doing good here because, like, overall, this is still fairly, like, we're still only a couple of minutes into the chat. She's asking for that definition, and it's getting me thinking, look at this pose. This is a really great pose. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about what's going on here. Anyway, really, really good chat so far. I'm just saying it's a good thing that they have. Mm -hmm. They're definitely stronger than women. They can lift more. So even if they're the same, you like think about it like this. If I have like a construction company and like all my women are bosses, and I'm the only person. Don't hire me if I have a construction company. <laughs> I don't know how to make oh, anything. <laughs> I think that company is going to last longer. Hmm. More who are there. So am I basing it off the longevity of the company? Look at her thinking. She's already thinking about the next thing. You're doing good. She's doing great. Oh, there's Pat in the background. Is it possible that women can de demonstrate the, the same type of characteristics like if they were in a construction company that they could still just as be as helpful or just as strong? They would just as helpful, just as strong. Probably by a man. <laughs> but at least if they can do that, then I'm okay, I'm okay with that too. So, so maybe I want to say then 100%, I'd be like at least 99%. At least 99. At least That's 99. all you really want. I still think we're stronger. I yeah. think we're better at the sports. I definitely think there's more bosses that are men. But I'd be... I'm. I'm not as confident as I was at the start. I'm fine with that. What, but I'm still very confident. Still very confident. I'm still very Okay, so again, the goal of these kinds of conversations isn't to force someone to change their mind or change anyone's mind ever, period, really. It's to give them the ability to recognize if they've jumped the gun a little bit on their confidence or based on the method that they use to arrive at their conclusion. And if it turns out that the methodology that they're using is ill-defined or not very good or not reliable, they will naturally do their own backtracking on their confidence themselves. And all you need to do is just shine a light on that. And that's what the main goal with SE is. And I think this is like a really good way of showing that anybody can do it about any topic. And the goal isn't so much like, hey, you're 100% about a, let me turn it around to your 100% on Z. No, it's more of just like, hey, you're 100% on A. Is that really reliable? Is A actually reliable? Because I want to know. Oh, I don't think that method that you use is reliable. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Okay, so maybe I'm not 100% on A anymore. Maybe I'm just like 99.9999%. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Hell, you could be that. That's totally fine. Because you just went from completely closed-minded, I'm 100%, I'm not asking questions anymore. I'm like, I'm here to... You cracked open that door just a little bit. You cracked open that door just a little bit. And that's all you need to do. And that's what's beautiful about this kind of hobby. You know, just learning how to get people to be a little bit more open-minded. That's all the goal is. Just a little bit more open-minded. All right, let's see what we got. Does she stop here or does she keep going? No, she stops. <laughs> Dude, that's it. Shit, I like that. <laughs> Shit, I like that. <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah. Look at all the notes she took. That's great. Okay, that's it. No, yeah. Because if you can, if you can just keep the conversation that direction. Keep it positive. Yes. Just plant a seed or put a pebble, and then with that, they have either enough momentum to change their own mind because you can't change anyone's mind, but you can inform them to say, hey, maybe I need to change my mind on that. Yes. You almost guarantee you, with a guy like that perspective. Why am I agreeing with myself? Ask those questions so he respond differently, which means he's thought about it and. Going from absolute 100% to even 99.99999% is massive. Right. So Close-minded to. I'm still agreeing with myself. <laughs> yeah. It's fun too. It, it is fun. fun. Yeah. I highly recommend people try it out. Listen, if you have the opportunity to ever have a talk or talk with someone. Yes. And if it's either it's online or if it's face to face or over the phone, yeah. you know and you remember this yeah. video, if you remember this kind of conversation, remember that you have the ability to help people think about the things that they really strongly believe to be the case. And it could be about anything, you know? Uh, and it doesn't have to be a challenge, it doesn't have to be an argument, it doesn't have to be a debate.
No one gets defensive. There's just a really cool way to ask people questions about what they believe to be true in a really fun and conversational way that gets people hopeful. It gets me hopeful that anyone will be able to talk to anybody about anything. And this is where it begins. So thank you for watching that video. Bethany, I think you did a great job. Wonderful job. Okay, that's it. Thank you, guys. Uh, that's it. These are my YouTube recommendations. I've been watching a lot of Avengers stuff. Anyway, uh, see you guys later.